Hi, welcome back to Impossible. Next up, Sagittarius. Where are my possible Sagittarius at? It's 10.06. So, seven. That is your number to pay attention to. Sevens. Okay, huge blessings on the way. Okay, somebody feels like they have unfinished business because now it's 10.07. So, seven, eight. Okay, Sagittarius, let's get right into your reading because it's, you know, it's kind of late and these videos are taking a long time to upload, okay? So let's see what's going on in your energy. I'm feeling relaxed right now, which is a good thing, okay? But a lot of contemplation going on here, a lot of contemplation. Someone is in deep thought about you, but you're in deep thought as well, okay? Yes, in limbo. You're in limbo at this time. All right, let's begin. All right, 31, 4. Some of you guys may be 31 years old. Some of you guys may be dealing with a Pisces or have rising one of Venus and Pisces. Okay, some of you guys may be getting engaged. Okay, but really learning to love yourself, put all the love into yourself. You may be receiving flowers, pink flowers, but... I do see someone has romantic feelings for you here, okay? Yes, and they want you to notice them. Mm-hmm, but there's somebody noticing you. There's a lot of gossiping going on around you. There's a lot of people in your business. Be careful who you tell your business to, all right? But pay attention to the signs and symbols at this time, your dreams, okay? Synchronicities, what people say to you, because even your enemy can give you a message. All right, but there is somebody keeping an eye on you more than one person keeping their eye on you with these birds all right but i always uh see birds as messages gossiping keeping an eye on you okay yes but learning to love yourself again and putting all your love into yourself and being and looking very attractive somebody finds you to be very attractive all right there's going to be a love offer coming in somebody's going to be coming in flirting with you okay wine and dining you all right but very mysterious at this time very mysterious some of you guys is just like glowing there you go glowing some of you guys are in the spotlight i heard okay yes but with the flowers of uh, fading away it's like you're coming into a new you okay shedding old skin coming into a new you all right some of you guys feel like when it comes to love, you're unlucky in love, okay? So, like, giving up on love. But that's just when you're giving up on love, then here comes options coming in because you have eyes on you at this time. Baraccio, divine angel of blessings. Seven, I said blessings coming in, right? Showers of heavenly love, intercession, good fortune, removes blocks to success. Very successful people. I do see you being in the spotlight, okay, in the limelight. Four is all about domesticated matters, okay? So, like, right now, you're just concerned about your bills, your kids, your household, like that, all right? But when it comes to your heart space, it's just like, but blessings. I can help you become a generous channel through which God will pour a fountain of blessings into people's lives, okay? February, opportunity awaits, and we're still in February, okay? We're still in February, all right, some of you guys may be dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces. Okay. Forty-five, nine, all about self-reflection, introspection. Okay, but all evil eyes or anything against you is being deflected back. All right, but you're revealing truths about people, and it's like you're seeing right through people. There you go. It's like people are scared to look in the mirror, but you're showing people their true self. Okay? You're sitting back examining people at this time, but examining oneself. All right? But you're well protected. 45 is 9, which means spiritual journey, spiritual awakening, but peaceful compromises. Okay? Yes. But somebody wants to come in and compromise with you. But at this time, it's just like you're taking a step back and seeing people and showing people who they really are. Okay? Mm-hmm. So once a person show you who they are, believe them. That's the model you live by. But you're speaking your truth about people as well. And 
Yeah. All right. Yeah. Again with the Pisces. And some of you guys may be pregnant. All right. Be careful with pregnancy if you don't want to get pregnant or get someone pregnant. All right. But I do see pregnancy. La la hell. Guardian of the divine light. Okay. And there's a lot of illumination. Okay. A lot of clarity. But seeing right through people. And calling them out in their BS. Clear healing light. AIDS light workers. Spiritual insight. Patron of the arts and sciences. I hold the mirror of the soul to help you see how to come into alignment with your true inner self. And that's what you're doing. Deep intros introspection at this time. But at the same time, calling people out. Seeing people for who they are. And anything, any evil eye or black magic is deflected back on them. Some of you guys are already light workers, counselors out there, okay, social workers, caretakers, okay? Something having to do with helping humanity, being a service to humanity. I hold the mirror of the soul to help you see, you see, how to come into alignment with your true inner self. Uh, labradorite, 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 instantaneous and changes, huge changes, okay? Some of you guys may be 54, 45. And six, follow your intuition. Some of you guys may be dealing with a Taurus or have rising moon of Venus and Taurus. But Taurus is all about grounding oneself, stability, security, responsibilities. All right? But you see, you're not playing with people. And you're following your intuitions and your instincts when it comes to people. And you're very well protected. Okay? Your spirit... Your spirit animal may be the wolf, all right? But you're seeing you're seeing people for who they are, all right? And then we have butterflies. So butterflies is all about transformation, but going through your transformation. But you're not allowing anybody to get in your way, okay? And you're, like, suspicious of people, like, hmm, things that make you go, hmm, okay? Yes. Anael, star of love and beauty. I'm telling you, you're looking very attractive, very, very attractive. Okay, serene, reassuring, creative, love, sensuality, reflection, psychic ability. Okay, intuitions. All right, so some of you guys are already towers out there. Some type of healing work. Okay, have your own social media base. Very popular. Okay, yes. And you're protecting your, you're protecting your third eye. Your third eye is protected. Mm-hmm. So anybody trying to block your shine, block your light, block your light, you're very well protected, very well, all around the board. I help raise your vibration to the higher frequencies of joy and love to experience more passion in your life. Moonstone Friday and developing romance, and Friday is tomorrow. Developing romance, I'm telling you, you're going to have options. Khalil, what is that noise? I hear like a whistling. No, Ma, that's my son. I'm not a whistling. I thought my son was whistling. Did you hear that? Okay. So, <laughs> pay attention to like whistling or whispers in your ear. Okay? Yes. Pay attention. Just pay attention. All right? Okay. Next step. I thought my son was whistling, but... You see, I picked up on it. Like, what's that? Where's that coming from? And my window is closed. Water jug, creativity and fertility. Like I said, some of you guys may be pregnant, but tapping into your creativity, you guys are very creative, especially with your hands. Okay. Climbing, moving up, moving up, moving forward, okay? Moving to a new state, but progressing, okay? Progressing, valuing oneself, all right? Mm -hmm. Some of you guys may be very crafty, create like pots and, you know, glasses or silverware or something. You're very creative, very artistic, okay? But climbing, moving on up, yes, you're overcoming the obstacles, no matter how difficult that may be, but... You're leaving people behind. You're not waiting for anybody. Okay? And I do see promotion as well. Promotion, moving to a new house, purchasing your home. Yes. Mm-hmm. 
but you're determined. I like this spirit. And dandelion, planting your seeds, make a wish. Your wishes are going to be fulfilled, okay? But right now, you're planting carefully. Planting your seeds, making wise investments, okay? Yes, that's what you're doing. Okay, so let's get into your reading. Let's get into your reading. Sagittarius, I'm sorry about that whistling, but I didn't know I didn't notice it was that windy. Ah, uh, yeah, somebody's keeping an eye on you, like I said, plugged in, searching. What I said. <laughs> what I said. Okay, first two cards. What I said. They have eyes on you, but they can't see they can't see anything. Spirit is blocking them and blinding them. You may be dealing with somebody that's locked up. Some of you guys may feel mentally imprisoned or stuck in a relationship that you're unhappy, a toxic household, okay? But somebody is up in their head about you, having deep regrets about you, all right? They may be in a another connection or locked up, like I said, but there's a past life coming in, somebody from your past coming in, okay? But somebody from your past wants wants to come in yeah roller coaster adrenaline highs and lows going on in your life at this time <laughs> okay yes but learning how to balance oneself taking control okay so every day is a high and low but taking taking control of your life receipts somebody found something out <laughs> They may be have may have been infidelity here going on here, but look, somebody's creating fake profiles, obsessed with you, okay, possibly in a broken family. You possibly cleanse your space, okay, yes, possibly in a broken family, a long-term commitment, okay, but your wishes are being fulfilled. Somebody is hoping and yearning for you back. I'm telling you, okay, somebody may be going through legal issues, you may you may be going through a divorce, family court, okay, but Mm-mm. Yes. Ooh, ooh. Okay. What else? But you're well protected. Well, like, like I said, you're well protected. But somebody, uh, divine, mas masculine, feminine coming in. Okay. Possibly this was a third party. All right. They know their time is running out. They want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Okay. But yes, toxic. You're doing away with toxic. Be careful with what you're eating, okay, and drinking at this time from people. But some of you guys may be in a toxic marriage, toxic relationship, but you're doing away with toxic people. A lot of gossip around you, petty and jealous people around you, like I said, okay? Yes. All right. Yeah, but definitely somebody with unconditional love is coming in, okay? Mm-hmm. All right. Somebody that's emotionally available. But you're the apple of somebody's eye. Mm -hmm. They know their time is running out. Okay, so let's see. Sorry about that wind. like so when i'm hearing this somebody is longing for you somebody is like very in remorse and regretful and emotional right now they want to have a conversation with you hmm. this person may be going through legal matters i'm gonna see what this is about you may be going through legal matters at this time the lovers oh my goodness you're gonna have choices in love okay mm-hmm This is somebody that has romantic feelings. You don't necessarily have to have sex with somebody to have romantic feelings for you. However, with the Knight of Wands here, okay, this may have started out sexual, but there is somebody that's very lustful over you at this time, Sagittarius, okay? This may have been somebody that was in and out of your life. It may have started out sexual between you two. This person may have been in another, this may have been a third person, third party relationship, and this person caught feelings, you caught feelings, but this is a divine connection. You have the keys to this person's heart. 
okay yes ten of pentacles this person may may already be in a family dynamic where finances is involved business is involved or you may be in a, fi uh, a family dynamic okay but this person sees you as long term as somebody that they could build with eight of pentacles they want to work on this with you okay they want to come together and work on this some of you guys may be getting news some news about work and a promotion something that you've been waiting for that you're going to love that you're going to make a lot of money as well okay yes but this person is in love with you again very lustful but it's not only about lust it may have started out sexual but they see you as someone that they can build with okay yes they want to bring balance to the situation okay mm -mm. you may meet this person at work yeah, this person may be going through legal issues with the justice card here, but they're following their intuitions and keeping an eye on you, keeping an eye on you at this time. This person is gaining a lot of clarity and a lot of truths coming out, okay? They may be suffering with an ego death at this time. Yeah, King of Swords, legal issues here, okay? Legal issues. But this may be an Aquarius Gemini Libra, okay? They feel like they want to come in and make an offer to work together they want to collaborate and build something with you they want to collaborate work on things to build it to the ten of pe to the ten of pentacles with the ace of swords that's the truth okay they want new beginnings with you all right yeah but judgment this is going to be this is going to be this is going to be your call you're going to be you're going to have the final decision at the, the end of the day but with the king of cups this person is in love pisces cancer scorpio this person is in love and with the six of wands i do see victory now if you guys are the ones going to court i do see victory something working out in your favor and a huge win some of you guys may be suing your job okay waiting for something um suing your job but there are people you have like a team people working against you there's a lot of gossip going on and people working against you okay but you're going to be coming out victorious and i do see proposal promotion recognition public recognition accolades all right but everything is taking its time temperance okay sagittarius judgment is scorpio sagittarius okay but there's a lot of truths are going to be revealed okay and you're going to be speaking your truth all right but in the end all things coming together with the three of cups uh-huh a final decision made in your favor that you're gonna love some of you guys may be pregnant okay i'm just saying but this is this person is in love with you all right this may have started out as friends this may you may for some of you guys you may have met this person through friends okay or this was a friend that want more all right but i do see this person wants family with you all right but you're ghosting people at this time and financially this person is not doing so well all right and if you're going to court there's somebody is going to lose big time in a marriage if you if you're the one that found out an affair and you're the one going to court somebody is going to be coming out of pocket big time and and i'm telling you big time you're going to leave this person broke homeless all that okay yes some of you guys may have had an accident of some sort Yeah, but I do see you walking away from what no longer emotionally serves you. But there is somebody heartbroken over you at this time. But you dealt with a lot of backstabbing in your life. And now you're reaping your rewards. And people are seeing it. People are jealous. It's a lot of energies I'm picking up here. People are jealous. They're tuned in. They want to see your lifestyle. But I do see huge wins. Huge wins. Okay? Yes. Be careful with your health. At this time, go to the doctor, check your health. All right? Yes, but I do see a new relationship coming for you guys. Mm -hmm. New beginnings, new relationship, proposals, but follow your intuitions, okay? Follow your intuitions. You may meet this person through, like, celebration or, like, a gathering of some sort through friends. But I do see at the end, if you're going to court, celebration. Okay, now, in terms of the other person, this person may be coming back broke. Okay, I'm just letting you know. All right, and they want to come and collaborate with you and work on things to build it to the Ten of Pentacles because they see you doing your thing. This person is obsessed. All right, well, we're going to get to obsession. 
okay? This person is suffering with loss, heartbreak, painful endings, okay? Death, defeat, all right? And it's going to be your choice whether you want to help this person or you want to rebuild this with this person. But at this time now, I don't see, I see you walking away, okay? I see you walking away, all right? But there's a lot of people uh, working against you at this time, but they're going to fail. They're going to be the one that's going to be defeated because I do see victory in the end for you. Ace of Cups and Three of, of Cups and the Six of Wands. A decision that you're going to love. But you're putting all the love into yourself and balancing your emotions at this time. Self-control, okay? Yes, and the final decision is going to be a huge win, victory for you. But right now, it's all about patience. Patience, okay? And self-control. But you're going to have choices in love, like I said, because there's a, new, there's a new love coming in, a new relationship. But then there's somebody else that's watching you as well. But there's a lot of jealous and envious eyes on you at this time, Sagittarius. A lot of toxic and unhealthy people that want to see you fail. But you're going to win. You're going to win. Okay? You're going to win. Yeah. So this, so if you're going to court, huge wins. If this person going to court, they may be losing out on something, but coming back. All right? But I did see third-party situation. You're finding out the truth. Proof. Okay? Some of you guys may love to wear red lipstick. But there was some proof that was found out, some type of infidelity that happened in a long-term commitment. Okay? For others, some of you guys are getting married out there, signing court papers. Some of you guys work in the legal field. Some some of you guys, this person that's coming in is some type of authority figure, like work in the court system, lawyer, judge, court officer, police officer, correction officer, somewhere in the legal system, okay? But I do see huge victories for you, okay? Yeah, roller coaster. Your emotions are running high and low, okay, at this time, but you're, you're, you're in self-control. You're the one steering the wheel. All right? Yes. But there, yeah, there's definitely somebody knowing that their time is running out, but they have deep emotions for you. This may be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. All right? But their emotions run deep, but they know that you're closing off and you're walking away with the Eight of Cups. You're walking away and you're leaving people out in the cold. All right? You're closing out karmic, karmic cycles with people. Okay? But there is an interview coming. I do see a new job and promotion coming in that's going to make you a lot, a lot of money. All right? But let's see this obsession. Be careful with overindulging in sweets, okay? Some of you guys may be diabetic out there, okay? Because I'm very thirsty at this time. So check your sugar. All right? Some of you guys may love jelly donuts or chocolate. But have a sweet tooth. Temperance. Yeah, this person is being very patient. This may be a Sagittarius like yourself. Okay, they're trying to balance out their emotions when it comes to you. They don't want to be too pushy. Okay. Yeah, Seven of Swords in reverse. Okay, they want to come clean. Okay, they're rethinking how they treated you. But they're really up in their head about you. But this was somebody that was caught out there that you caught out there why tell me why they're you catching people out there okay you're catching people with that mirror yeah three of pentacles in reverse okay this person you know it was just like you just didn't feel like this person was on the same like on the same page as you okay it felt you felt like you were the only one that was committed to this connection and now that you're disconnecting, now this person, Knight of Pentacles, is up in their head, obsessed, uh, looking at you, obsessed, okay? But this person wants to work hard to rebuild your trust, okay? But right now, it's slow and steady. They're just taking their time. They want to show you that they're dependable and reliable, okay? But they're going to work hard to... build that trust back with you but they're being patient about it three of wands they're being patient about it okay mm -hmm. they're looking ahead but you're looking in a new direction and you see with birds again pay attention to signs and synchronicities all right a lot of gossiping was going on here this is possibly an affair that happened at work 
okay? But you're looking ahead, okay? You're looking ahead, and this person is seeing you, seeing you and the opportunities opening up for you, and you're moving on, but you're all about expansion, all right? But there's a lot of opportunities on the horizon for you, and I do see traveling, lots and lots of traveling for you. But this person is wants to, yeah, the five of cups, uh, this person is wants to come in and speak to you, but they're feeling abandoned, regrets, they're mourning, okay? Mm -hmm. They're rethinking about the way they treated you. Yeah, ten of pentacles, this person is not doing financially well, okay? They weren't investing in this connection. You were the only one investing. And this person, what's keeping them back is their finances and the fact of the way they treated you, okay? It's like they thinking about how they treated you and they should have treated you better. Yeah, they're gaining a lot of clarity and going through their own personal karma. Yep, they seeing you do your thing, Nine of Pentacles. They see you luxurious, you... You're reaping the fruits, fruits of your labor. You're planting your seeds. You're looking handsome and beautiful. Okay? Mm-hmm. Yes. But this person seems to can't let go. But they're doing they're not doing financially well. And they're looking at you succeeding. But this is your good karma coming back around. Okay. Yes. So this person wants to come in and make an offer, but they don't have it right now to make the offer. And they're really thinking about the way they treated you, but it's like they're obsessed with you. Obsessed. Because now they see you doing better without them. It's like a total change, a 360. Yeah, Page of Cups, Divine Masculine. This may be somebody younger than you, but this is definitely a new love coming in. Okay? This is going to be a happy surprise for you. All right? Two of Swords. You're going to have to make a... Dis uh, oh, man. Because you're going to be stuck between people okay but work and people because you're going to have more than you expected coming in you're going to have a choice to make when it comes to your love life the lovers gemini okay yes a difficult choice to make mm -hmm. but this is a divine connection definitely coming in all right it may be flirting okay a message of love yeah just when you think because justice came in in reverse just when you think that you know love treated you unfairly you haven't found the right one you're looking for your soulmate blah blah blah, blah. justice is a uh, libra here comes this person but then here come another person okay <laughs> yeah five of pentacles okay coming out of coming out of isolation for some of you guys this is somebody that you blocked that wants back in with this coming sideways yeah knight of swords they want to come in with some message yeah, be careful with catfishing, but I do eight of wands. Yeah, they want to come in and communicate with you. They're coming in swiftly. This person has been through a lot, and so have you. Okay, again, accidents. Some of you guys may be suffering from an accident, or this person uh, may have been involved in an accident. Again, lawsuits, winning large cases. But whoever this is that's coming in is resilient. They feel like their faith is being tested at this time. But they're determined to come in to communicate with you. And I do see you, they've shooting an online message, but they're back and forth, back and forth with it because they fear that you're going to reject them. But they want to come in with a huge offer. Okay? Again, you have... You're going to have choices in love. This is going to be a difficult choice to make. Okay? With the four pentacles in reverse, whoever is coming in, 
is not only going to be generous, but they're going to be open and giving. Yep, death. Somebody is going through a rebirth, an ego death at this time, a transformation. This divine masculine may be waking up to this connection at this time. And now finally realize what they lost. Mm -hmm. The magician. You're manifesting new for yourself. But not only are you getting new. Because this person, I feel like you know them already. But then you have new love coming in. Okay. The hangman, Pisces. You're getting a new perspective. But this person is manifesting you back in. They want... They want to start over. They want new beginnings because they're going through some type of endings, shedding skin, and so are you. Okay? So are you. But at one time, this person was very manipulative with the snake. Okay? And with the magician here, this person is hanging on to your energy. They can't let it go. But you're letting it go and you're gaining a new perspective. Okay, you're in the Queen of Swords energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, where you're head over heart and you're being totally honest with yourself and you're speaking your truth and you're seeking the truth. Yeah, Nine of Swords. This person is up in their head. They haven't sleep this nice. They're depressed. They may be going through some type, type of childhood traumas. Okay, they're weak. They're trying to build their strength at this time. Okay, yes. There may have been a lot of gossiping with the Three of Cups in reverse going on here. Okay. So I have Leo. I have Scorpio. I have Gemini. Aquarius. Yeah. Libra. But this person wants to come in and make you a huge offer. But I see you single and just take your time. You're all about your money at this time. But then there you have a king of wands coming in. Somebody, yep, three of swords, third party situation. This person may be going through a divorce. This divine masculine, you may be a uh, masculine feminine. You may be going through a divorce. Some of you guys may go by a pronoun. This may be a same-sex relationship. But this person broke your heart once upon a time. But now they're heartbroken without you because... You're moving on. You're moving on. And I do see somebody new coming in that's very good looking. Okay. Courageous. Bold. A leader. Inspirational. Charming. Okay. Yes. That's going to help you heal because some of you guys are still healing. Past. All right. But again, you're going to have a decision to make because I do see somebody single. And somebody that's on your same page coming in. Okay. Just when you least suspect it. Just when you gave up on love. And you guys are going to heal together. Alright. So choose wisely. But I feel like some of you guys already know this divine masculine. But then new is coming in. So with lovers you're definitely going to have a choice to make. What is this talk and interview about? Yeah. Some type of leadership role. Some of you guys may be getting promoted. Okay. Yeah, this may require you to move this job, all right? But you're in transition, but there are definitely brighter days ahead. But I do see some type of relocation. This may, this interview may be uh, due to a promotion, you having to relocate, okay? But there is somebody that's trying to build their strength to come in to speak to you about moving on, like starting over, Okay? They're moving away to common waters, but they're moving towards you. They're going to tell you that they're leaving something behind. Yeah, three of cups. All right. This is some type of reunion, but I do see um, for some of you guys, this is a new job where you're going to be in charge of people. All right. Is it going to be a cause for celebration? But this, this is somebody, and then I'm picking up, this is somebody that wants to come in to reunite with you. You make them happy. Okay, they want to, they want this with you. But the high priestess, 
this person may begin tarot readings you may begin tarot readings but follow your intuitions at this time okay but this person is remaining hidden and so are you you're not really revealing oneself you're too busy working on yourself and working on your pentacles some of you guys may love um, pomegranate yeah mm-hmm they're still moving forward but this person they're following their intuitions and they're still coming in mm-hmm they're coming in they're taking their time but they're coming in they feel like there's competition when it when it comes to you what do they want to talk about king of pentacles this person may have been married this person may be a taurus capricorn virgo but this person is coming in stable okay yeah they want to talk about rebuilding. Wow, Ten of Cups. They want to talk about their feelings. They want to talk about rebuilding. You know, they want to talk about the future. They want to talk about, you know, um, their feelings. And not only that, but where they see you. They want to propose. They want a future with you. They want to get married. They want to buy that house and have that family with you. That's what they want. Okay? And they want to be supportive of you. For others, if you guys are married, it's about talking like there's a struggle in the marriage, but it's about talking about bringing that love back into this connection, okay? Communication and how to build it back to a strong, firm foundation and where your love truly lies, okay? Mm hmm. Yeah, so I have Leo, I have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. The chariot this person is coming in cancer okay but seven of cups they're in they're up in their head okay thinking about a way how to come in to speak to you about this because you're moving forward with the chariot okay but i do see a promotion and i do see you know you being in charge of people all right mm-hmm you guys are very intuitive. You guys are very spiritual. Again, some of you guys may be in tarot readings or a, be a tarot reader or learning tarot. Mm -hmm. But happiness is on the horizon for you. All right? Interview. Yeah, Thanksgiving. Some of you guys' birthday may be Thanksgiving. Again, maybe dealing with a Sagittarius like yourself. But this is all I'm talking about, like home and comfort. Yes, everything is going to be restored. Okay? Again, some of you guys may love turkey, turkey wings, New Year's, New You. Okay? Some of you guys may work in a movie theater. Or this person is going to invite you to the movies or on a date. But I do see you guys dating. Yeah, lying. You catch people out on their lies, okay? But you're finding humor, all right? Again, this may be a same-sex relationship, so you guys may have tattoos on your, your forearm or your upper arm, a sleeve, a signature right here, okay? But you're finding humor. You're finding humor. I saw it. Yeah, skeletons coming out the closet. This person may have been childish. You may have a child with this person. Yeah, people getting caught in the act, okay? You catch your people out there. Yeah, you're leaving things behind, leaving the past behind, traveling, like I said. And this new job may require you to travel. Halloween, you may be dealing with a Scorpio, but you're maintaining mysterious at this time and blocking people out. Again, be careful with catfishing. You're seeing through the fog and seeing right through people and their bullshit. Yeah, meant to be. There is a connection that's coming in that's going to be explosive. You may be meeting in the 4th of July. Okay, yes, yeah, somebody has romantic feelings for you. Of course, but pay attention to the signs and symbols because you're going through your transformation at this time. All right, out with the old and with the new, and then things with people. Scorpio, yeah, some of you guys may be in a toxic family, or this person is in a toxic family that they're getting rid of. All right, but you're getting rid of people as well. But when it comes to court, people are going to be lying, but truths are going to be revealed. Yeah, you're seeing right through the fog, following your intuitions at this time. All right, yes maintain a mysterious but there is but you're ghosting people but there's somebody that ghosted you that wants back in all right but wasn't showing wasn't revealing their true self to you was deceptive but now they want to come in 
and speak their truth to you. Yeah, catfishing. A lot of catfishing online. Be careful with this person sending you a message pretending to be somebody else. Just to see if you're dating someone else or how you feel about them. Yes. But I do see this. Okay? A lot of catfishing. Careful. Okay? Careful. But you're blocking communication at this time. All right? Yes. But there's definitely a new love coming in. So, again, options in love. This is going to be a magical, meant to be. All right? Again, some of you guys are in a toxic environment, have a, two children, a boy and a girl. But just a lot of disagreements, arguments. And I do see a breakup and an argument coming. But a lot of lying behind this as well. All right? But Spirit wants you to find humor. All right? And there may be gossip that you're in a heterosexual relationship. But somebody was stepping out, sleeping with the same sex. That's one of the gossip. Okay? But you're ending things with people. Okay, bye, out of here. Ego death. And somebody's going through their own, but new years, new you, new life, new beginnings. That's this is what you're doing. Okay? Some of you guys are washing clothes and need to wash clothes, I heard. But clearing your space. Cleanse. You need to do your cleansing and take your spiritual baths. Go to the beach, take a dip, okay? Or just take a bath, Epsom salt, burn some candles, um, spiritual candles, and really get into your space, burn some incense. All right, and really get into your space. Okay, let's continue. What do you need to release? And that's what you're doing. You're questioning what you need to release and you're releasing it at this time. Okay. You're doing your research and you're releasing. You're not, you're not, you're not... <laughs> You're smarter than a fifth grader, okay? You're not you're not tolerating anybody's BS. Adjustments are required, okay? So that's what you're doing. Self-reflection, introspection. What do you need to adjust? What do you need to release? You understand this. You don't you don't you don't need anybody to tell you how to live your life. You understand what you need to do, and that's what you're doing. But in solitude in solitude just monitoring at this time but you're calling people out on their bs as well okay yeah breathe you see meditating contemplating connecting with the source okay Whatever you're planting is blooming. I do see a lot of money and abundance coming your way, a bright future, okay? Stepping out as a new person, okay? Some of you guys may love to wear, like, um, accessories in your hair, like flowers, but yes, things are aligning in your life. You're at peace. You're finding that inner peace. Follow your intuitions, your psychic abilities. Tune it into your psychic abilities, your instincts, okay? Yes getting your downloads from the divine and the water again the water again okay the water again but really not allowing anybody in your personal space and with the stars around you you're very hopeful about your future and you guys are definitely star seeds or some type of celebrity or out there okay out there have your own you're, you're popular but have your own social media base or starting it okay but you're going within you're going within you see there's a face here you see the face all right and that's that's who you're trusting in yourself the divine your downloads your spirit guides god the universe that's that's who yourself okay mm -hmm. but you're not revealing yourself to people the mirror as a matter of fact you're revealing you're revealing truths within other people, all right? But you're just breathing and taking it easy at this time. 29 is 11, pay attention to 1111, which is coming true, like I said before, okay? Yeah, first card, take a break. That's what you're doing, you're taking a break, okay? You're taking a break. You're resting. Ah, <sighs> Wusa. It's 
some guys may love to watch movies okay protection you're very well protected your ancestors are protecting you and especially your third eye as you can see your, your psychic abilities anything evil eye or anything against you is blocked okay call back your power cut the cords soul retrieval and that's what you're doing you're calling your you're in your power at this time and you're cutting cords with people soul retrieval and i do see you aligning with your soul tribe but well protected at this time sagittarius okay purity again purifying one's soul the return to innocence some of you guys may have different color eyes blue green i forgot what this is called but again some of you guys spirit animal may be the wolf but there is love blooming in your life new love coming in on the horizons okay <laughs> I'm just saying Yeah, security Okay, yeah, but you're taking the lead As you can see, you're taking the lead and people are following you But you're reuniting that passion within you You are a fire sign but you're all, So you're all about action So you guys may love the outdoors But I do see you traveling Okay, I do see you traveling and moving forward with the chariot. Some of you guys may be dealing with a cancer. Okay, but all about action and reigniting the passion within you, the creativity within you, but it's all about your security. Your security. Grounding oneself. The security for your children if you have children. Yep. You're going forward. You're moving forward, back to the light, in a new des in a new direction, okay. And I do see abundance, like I said. And abundance is not only having to do with money, but health, wealth, home, children, okay. Yes, things blooming around you. So whatever you're planting, look at all this this blooming around you, okay. But following your life purpose, getting the, gaining enlightenment at this time. Okay, stay in meditating and gain an enlightenment. Okay, what did the card say? Breathe. And that's what you're doing. Call on your angels and you're paying attention to your spirit guides at this time. You're ascending. Yes, and you're cutting cords at the same time. Become aware, and that's what you're doing. You're breathing, you're aligning, okay? Yes, relax and let the light in, and that's what you're doing. You're not fighting it, okay? Mm-hmm. Breathe, and that's what you're doing. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, and you're becoming more aware of your life purpose and who people really are and what you're here for. And you, yes. And finding that balance and inner peace within oneself. But I, I, I feel very peaceful and letting go. Letting go. Cutting those cords. Bye. Okay? Three is six. Six is intuitions. No shortcuts. Trust in the process and do not allow others to derail you from making progress on the goals you set. And that's you're not doing that. You're focused. Okay. Yes. And if somebody thinks that they're gonna come and you know shortchange you, no. Bye. But deep regrets about you. Somebody's in deep eight. But there's a new love. Financial abundance is on the way. You are being rewarded for your hard work and dedication. 444. You are on the right path. Ask for help if needed. If needed. And be sure to avoid distractions and any negative influences, toxic, poisonous people that you're doing away with at this time. Okay? Yes.
very jealous of, uh, about you and your status and your accomplishments. That's not your problem. Yeah, self-worth is all about you. Loving what you see, taking care of yourself, groom, grooming yourself on your own spiritual journey, okay? You don't need anybody. That's how you feel. But there is companionship coming in, and I do see a bright future with you and this person. This person may be younger than you. Spirit is saying do not reject this person because they're younger than you. But this person is coming in loyal and dedicated through thick and thin. Okay? And arrogance. Get off the pedal. Uh, get off the pedestal. But you know your value. You know your worth. Some people might may find you to be arrogant. But that's okay. Because you're not getting off your pedestal for anyone. Okay? Exposed. Yeah? You're catching people in the act. Time to come clean. Alright? But these are the same people that you're getting rid of. Fake, phony people, relationships, catfishing, and all that garbage. Innocence, yeah. Looking through a fresh pair of eyes. Again, purity. Going through your rebirth. Okay? Somebody's going through a rebirth, ego death, and so are you. And focus. You see what I told you? Your focus. Your eyes is on the prize. You're not allowing anybody to deter you from your goals. Okay? No, you're not. Again, some of you guys may have just had a baby. Yeah. But I do see somebody who's going to try to interfere. There is definitely a divine feminine, masculine coming in. Okay? Black magic. But that's not... It's not going to work. Yeah, shadow. Okay? Some of you guys are still dealing with your shadow side. Living in the 3D that you're working on at this time. Okay? Mm-hmm. Some of you guys may feel like you're going through your karma, but you have unhealthy people around you that you need to get rid of or unhealthy behaviors that you need to get rid of at this time, using drugs, popping pills, drinking excessively, partying, okay, um, addicted to sex, greed, unhealthy ego, indulgent, all right? Yeah, but with the crossroads in reverse, making decisions, okay accepting that you have a shadow side for some of you guys that you need to deal with all right making a judgment but choosing wisely okay yes tower reader some of you guys may, <clears throat> may be tower readers or need to get a tower reading but i do see somebody looking up your information here i was trying to do some magic with the magician and the high priestess all right but there's somebody that you know there's going to be a lot of communication coming in getting to know people all right and with the ace of fire reigniting that passion within you and i do see good news good news coming in in terms of communication all right collaborating with the right people but if there is somebody definitely getting tarot readings on you mm -hmm. try to leave you in stuck in a shadow but this may be a fire sign as yourself, Aries or Sagittarius, but you have a new passion. Some of you guys may write music, write poems, write books, but somebody's trying to find the right words to say. But I do see you networking at this time, but still dealing with your shadow side and the 3D, living in the 3D. Okay. Again, I, I said it. Some of you guys may be tarot readers, but let's see what this tarot reader is about. Okay. feeling lightheaded some of you guys may yeah the high priestess somebody went to a specialist some of you guys may be tarot readers already okay but somebody definitely went to a specialist yeah it has to do with a marriage so again some of you guys may have been in a third party situation where you know their significant other is was trying to do some type of black magic or find out information yeah queen of cups uh baby mother baby father but some a child you may have a child with this person. You may be in a some of you guys may have been may be in a long-term commitment already. And your own significant other is doing, you know, getting tower readings on you to find out what you're doing. Okay? But with the seven of wands, spirit is not allowing them to see too much. 
and you're and you're very well protected if this person try to do some type of black magic on you to keep you back yeah again you may be going to court with this person okay over like child support or something like that but yeah but i do see you moving on from this six of swords mm-hmm this person possibly try to leave you stuck, but you're moving on. And even if you guys have to take a loss, then so be it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ten of Swords. Painful endings. This person doesn't want you to leave them behind. Okay. All right, let's continue. But, yeah, they just, you know, get tired of readings to find out you're seeing somebody else, you're sleeping. But you're, you're making wise decisions for yourself at this time. Let's see who's this divine coming in. Well, I did divine, but definitely yin-yang energy coming in. Emperor, Empress, because the divine masculine came out before. Okay, so let's see who this person is. Let's get a feel of this person. Tan complexion. So this person may be a tan complexion, long curly brown hair. Okay, a problem solver. Very smart. Into sports and fitness. This person may love to swim, exercise. This person may have tattoos or be a tattoo artist, piercings. All right. Yeah, non-committal. But right now, I don't see you committing to anyone. But this person came in non-committal. Okay, non-committal. But I do see you all about travel and adventure at this time. All right, this person may be older than you, 50s or older. This person may be a fire sign like yourself, Aries or Sagittarius. Okay. Yeah, animals. This person may be an animal lover, but... Have a dog, a pit bull with uh, a gray pit bull with green eyes, but this person is coming in loyal. Although they're not, you're not committal, but this person is still loyal. It's gonna be coming. Is it's gonna be loyal to you? What else? One more. Air sign. This person may be an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Okay. But I don't see you want any commitment. Yeah, a lot of gossip been going on around you, like I said, or about this connection. Okay, but right now you're all about your career and making money moves, communicating, networking, and meeting new people. But you're all about business, all right? But I do see a lot of online, you know, um, getting to know people online and stuff like that. But I do see, yeah, this may be a dark person coming in towards you, male, female, all right? Yeah, you see, open relationship. But right now you're just like, you're just two through with love and that's when yeah you're just into dating and getting to know each other at this time yeah i do see you purchasing a home though but by yourself but this person whoever is coming in they're they're gonna see they you're gonna feel like home to this person okay yeah this person may have children you may have three children okay yeah, I don't see you coming in union with anybody, but you are going to be a true love through dating, okay? Okay, but you're just going to be dating. You're not going to be opening up rather quickly, you know? Mm-hmm. But I do see uh, this is going to turn into true love. Some of you guys may be dark skin out there, tan complexion as well. But I just see you just casually dating. I don't see anything. You just putting yourself out there like that. Mm -mm. Yeah, different pages, like I said. Incompatible desires or perspectives, but you're turning the page 
and you're giving yourself a new chapter. Again, some of you guys may be avid readers, educators, okay, learning something new, but somebody wants to get on the same page interview because you guys were like not on the same page before. Yeah, but I do see a power couple coming in for you guys. True love. You're not going to see this coming. Like I said, you're not going to see it coming. You're not going to see it coming. But apprehensive. Okay, but building an empire is within reach for you. And you, and for some of you guys, you're building this empire by yourself. But there's somebody that's coming in that's going to be a power couple with you. It's going to, you know, it's going to come unexpectedly. Just when you thought love was like... But apprehensive, there's then there's somebody that's in, in their emotions for you, okay? Uncertainty about the future of this connection, but this person was playing mind games, and you decided to leave this person out in the cold, okay? Yes. You're not waiting on, on anybody. You see? Ashamed. Embarrassed about their past behavior, what I said. Yeah, but you're, you saw right through their mask, like I said. And you decided to, now you're leveling up. You're letting go and you're leveling up. That's it. They, you caught this person out there. Okay? Third parties, if it was you or the other person. But you're releasing and you're focusing on yourself. And you're leveling up at this time and going in a new direction. Alright? Again, I do see you doing this by yourself. Purchasing a home. Even if you have children, you're just doing it by yourself. Okay? Like... I don't need anybody. I'm good. That's 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 what's up. That's what's up. I feel you on that. Going through your own transformation, and somebody else is going through their transformation as well. But higher power, God is with you at this time. Okay, and that's what you're doing. You're connected to the source. You're going within. Yes, yeah, serendipity. Wow. A fortunate stroke of luck. Happy surprises ahead. Okay, but you're on the right path. All right? Divine intervention. Everything is happening in perfect timing and coming in union with someone. A true love. Okay? A true love. You're taking the lead in your life. Leadership. Okay? Teamwork. Somebody somebody feels like you work, you're going to be working well together. Power couple. Again. All right? But you're building your team at this time. You're building your team at this time. And key, somebody wants to write you. Somebody wants to communicate their feelings to you. You have the key to somebody's heart. But right now, you're isolated. And you're following your life purpose. And getting rid of toxicity. Okay? Yes. Removing it. Okay? But you have the keys to somebody's heart. Okay? But you're opening the doors to a better future for yourself. You're unlocking. You're learning and unlocking Pandora's box at this time. The keys, the mysteries to life. Mm -hmm. The artists, like I said, very creative. Some of you guys may um, uh, create things online. Angelic help. Your spirit guides are with you at this time. Okay, you're paying attention to how you spend money. All right. But you guys may be web designers or have your own online business, but very creative. Graphic designing. Some of you guys may love black coffee. Okay, but I do see pink pink roses again. A lot of romance on the horizon for you. Okay. Or be presented with pink roses. Okay, help is on the way. Okay, but right now you're enjoying life, finding fun, being youthful again. Some of you guys may love to drink beer. Okay, or planning on opening up a restaurant or, you know, bar hopping or you're going to meet somebody in a lounge. That's going to be fun. But, yeah, but loss in reverse. So everything that you lost is coming back around. All right, promoters. Some of, guys, some of you guys are promoters out there, but I do see somebody promoting you. Okay, but there is something better, and that's what you're seeking, something better. Okay, before I continue, let me get one of these. Wedding. Who got this? Who got wedding? 
Pisces. So you may be dealing with a Pisces. Okay. Yes. But wedding. Marriage is a union of two souls joined in love, mutual respect, and commitment. It signifies a desire to deepen love over time. Your wedding day is a testament to your self-founded faith and love's power. Continually breathe life into that faith and love. There is one. Okay? I do see you guys getting married. Okay? But breathe again. Breathe. And that's what you're doing. Breathe in. Breathe out. Releasing. Releasing it. Okay? But some of you guys are trying to work on your marriage at this time. There may be complications, but trying to work on how to, like, a peaceful resolution. Okay? Mm -hmm. Influence. Some of you guys are influencers. Again, singers, politicians, some type of public speakers. But use your influence for change. Some of you guys may be bus drivers I heard or some type of drivers I don't know where that came from truck drivers okay use your influence for change you may do public speaking social videos or interviews your voice and opinions are important okay start your own podcast passage going in a new direction some of you guys may be going on a cruise moving to a new country but again a job may require you to travel but again just Moving away from moving away from the BS and people. Your current situation is a means to an end. You are making the uncertain voyage to a new world. Enjoy the discoveries as you go. And you discovered a lot about yourself in isolation. What you really can do. Okay? Yeah, and flexibility. Okay. Yes. Stretch your limits. Alright? Delving into other things. Not staying not one track minded, but broaden in your horizon you'll need to see in the dark to maneuver the coming changes while it seems extreme just hang in there this too shall pass okay so keep going keep going inflexible change okay some of you guys may be seeing um maybe dealing with a capricorn but the capricorn is representation of the devil so inflexible change so there some of you guys are still shadow dealing with your shadow side in the 3d and still working on that okay but ascension process is never easy but you you recognize what needs to be changed and you're making the necessary changes flexibility but inflexible change. You or the per you or the person involved are set in ways that are impending growth. Again, toxic family, so you're cutting those cords. Be more open-minded and see the other person's point of view to expand your perspective in a healthy way. Oftentimes, being too rigid masks the problem that causes imbalance and unrest. Flexibility is needed to create flow. Flexibility. Okay, so again, working on some type of marriage or cutting those cords because somebody is stagnating your growth and you know it. People, places, and things, and that's what you're doing. You're releasing. For others, you're working on it. Okay. Coffin. Again, putting things to an end, but coffin. Bad investment. So some of you guys feel like you made a bad investment when it comes to relationships or when it comes to your love life. But I do see you making wise investments when it comes to your money. Financial challenges. So some of you guys may be suffering financially, but I do see abundance on the horizon. Patience. Okay, it's on its way. Savings. So saving money at this time. Career, office work, so you guys may be corporate or secretaries, answering phones, customer service, 
waitresses, okay, night shift, security guards, job ending. So like uh, termination, but I do see a new job on the horizon. So don't worry, Sagittarius. But got to work on that shadow side of yours and living in the 3D. Cowboy. <laughs> Some of you guys may be dealing with a Taurus. Taurus got this card. Gifts. Enjoys pets. Again, some of you guys may be veterinarian or love animals. Animals and wildlife. Thrives on adventure and travel. Uh, very spontaneous. Organized and takes personal responsibility. Challenges. Difficulty in moving on from a painful past. So some of you guys are like over drinking, over smoking, medicating. Yes. Uh, still trying to deal with with uh, childhood trauma or abusive relationships, stuff like that. Unwilling to learn new skills and stubborn. But your lesson is you learn it's okay to take the road less traveled. Okay? Daring. Okay? So you learn that it's okay to take the road less traveled. That's okay. I'll do it. All right? That's all, that's all about responsibility and accountability for your own actions, yourself, right? Okay. Yeah, so when this love interest come in, you guys are not even going to be prepared because you guys are still working on yourself. Okay. And some of you guys on a relationship, my old energy, see? My old energy, still working on yourself, like I said. Still working on yourself. I love being there for friends and family while staying true to myself. I don't let others' energies, I don't let others' energy or mood affect my own. Setting those healthy boundaries. To help a friend in a hole, I don't need to jump in the hole with them. Simply reach out a hand. It is up to them to do the rest. And there's somebody that's going to need your help. But it's going to be up to you. Okay? It's going to be up to you. Achievement. Mm -hmm. Enjoy the limelight. You've earned it. Although on the family front, someone's health could cause some secret worries and sleepless nights. So check on your family members. Again, I did see ill health. Check on yourself and check on your family members. One more. Sexuality. <laughs> existing relationships could find a new passion and heighten sexual. And existing relationships could find a new passion and heighten sexual attraction. Opportunities for marriage and good family life are strong, but if single, beware of temptation that could lead to trouble. To trouble, A child will also bring great joy. And I do see pregnancy, but shadow. Okay, shadow and deal with your, the devil, the, your dark side, your shadow side. Okay, and let me get um, an affirmation for you. And I'm closing out your reading, Sagittarius. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ah. See? So it's all about, yeah, I am responsible for choosing thoughts that serve me. I am responsible for choosing thoughts that serve me. So this is all about taking responsibility for your own actions, releasing at this time, still working on yourself, okay? Spiritual growth, spiritual enlightenment, all right? But self-examination, a lot of self-examination going on here. And when this love come in, it's going to be unexpected. Because you're taking the lead back in your life. You know, you, you, you know you're in control of your life. You know what you need to work on. Even in the marriage, you know what's going on. Okay? And you're responsible for that. So I am responsible for choosing 
thoughts that serve me and people as well. Okay? Okay. I, that's all I have for you, Sagittarius. This is quite an interesting reading, but I love you guys. I'm possible. You're possible. Your girl, Tosh. I'm out.